Are you planning on moving out of California or another state and you're in Facebook groups and you're trying to figure out where to go? Today, I'm gonna share some misconceptions and some things that you should know so that you don't take Idaho prematurely off your list of places that you could happily live. Friends, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Craig. I'm a local real estate agent and I make content like this to help you guys as you're in that scary, tough, challenging time of deciding what state you're gonna move to. I had a call last week from a couple who had left California three years ago, moved to Austin, Texas, and then decided Austin was wrong for them. They didn't like the winters. They didn't like the humidity. They didn't like the power outages. And so they began their search again for the right state that was gonna fit them. They chose to visit Spokane, Washington, and they decided that was too like grungy of a city and they didn't like it. After Spokane, Boise came up on their list and the wife essentially said, nope, I could never move to Boise. And then she watched one of my videos, Why Californians Regret Moving to Boise, Idaho. And she watched it assuming she would agree with it and it would solidify her decision, but the exact opposite happened. She watched the video and realized, oh my gosh, Boise is not what I thought it was. And I really do like Boise and now they're considering moving here. So in today's video, I'm gonna share some misconceptions and things that you should just know so that you don't prematurely take Boise off of your list of places that you could move to. This first one's gonna be a misconception. People think that Boise or Southern Idaho is just flat and brown. If you're standing in Boise and you look north, the first thing that you're gonna notice is the Boise foothill. And they are anything but flat. Atop of them is Bogus Basin, our local ski mountain, which is just 45 minutes from town. In addition to that, the foothills, again, not being flat, are amazing places for recreation for people who want to get out and have an active lifestyle. So on the north side, you have the foothills and then throughout the city, you have different benches where there's different elevation. You go up hills, down hills, but it is anything but all flat. Additionally, if we're specifically talking about Boise, it is not all brown. Boise is called the city of trees, which again, depending on images you see, you might disagree with that or if you're coming from a highly wooded state, you disagree with that. But once you get on the ground, and you look around, you see trees. It's beautiful, it's green, it feels very lush. Boise is that oasis in the high desert. So I could imagine that if you were standing in Boise and you were looking around, you saw the foothills, you saw the green, you saw the trees, you saw some of the brown, it would probably remind you of something like San Luis Obispo in Central California. Number two is gonna be about stereotypes, specifically how Idahoans relate to Californians or other out-of-staters. If you're coming from California, you may be nervous when visiting or moving here to say, hey, I'm from California, and I totally get it. And you will get some kickback from some disgruntled people. But let me paint a picture for maybe why they're feeling that way. The locals here could have some concerns about what is coming with you from California, right? They're concerned about your political views or the views you have about certain things or how you think certain things should be done because they like how things are done here and they don't want that change to happen. And that's a real thing, but let's just move that off to the side for a second. Another thing that kind of makes them sad about so many people coming into the state, especially Californians, is that they have the ability to pay more for homes, drive up the demand and drive up the prices and essentially price them out of being able to live in the city and state which they've loved for years or decades. And you probably feel like that because maybe you're leaving California because you can't afford it. And you're thinking, oh great, Idaho, perfect. But the same thing that happened to you in California and why you're leaving is then happening here to people who live in Idaho because of the people coming in and bringing all that money with them. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's kind of what happens, but just know what you felt leaving California could be what they're feeling as they're trying to stay here and they don't wanna leave. One other thing that you might experience is lines like, Idaho is full. Right, so it's Idahoans saying, don't come here, it's full, it's over, don't overcrowd us, don't overpopulate us. Two things I'll say about that. One is, to you, it probably does not seem full. And I can prove that because there are more people in Orange County than there are in the entire state of Idaho. But if you've lived in Idaho until you've been here for the last 10 years, you've seen a ton of change over the years. And to you, it is getting very, very full. And it's not what you're used to experiencing three years ago or five years ago or six years ago. So again, if you're coming from California, you're gonna feel like, man, this isn't overpopulated, this is nothing. But just know on the flip side of that, the people who are locals here who are gonna be your neighbors, 
feel like, man, this is not the Idaho I grew up with. And they probably feel like they're losing something. Are you enjoying this video? I just want to pause for a second. If you're thinking about moving and you've watched enough videos now and you want to take that next step, then give me a call. I'm a local real estate agent here in Boise, Idaho. I'd love to partner with you and partner you with my team to help you get into the home of your dreams and make that journey of relocating to Idaho simple and easy on you. Number three is gonna be lifestyle and culture. I want to paint a picture for you of what you can expect if you were to move here. People crave a sense of community. When I talk on the phone with you guys, I like to ask like, why are you leaving the state that you're coming from? And why do you wanna come here? And one thing that people say is a sense of community. They just feel like everybody is living individual lives and there's no sense of community and they just can't take it. Like we are social beings down to our core. And when a city feels like it is anti that, it's really hard for some people to stay there. So I'll say this, when you come to Idaho, you will see that people wave at you. They make eye contact. When we moved into our house, neighbor four doors down brought us jam and cookies. There is this sense that they have here that is welcoming and open arms. And again, to add a caveat to that, it's like open arms to the way of life and the way they do things here. Again, they don't want you to change it. They like it. And it's probably maybe what you like about Idaho. Another thing that might shock you is the lack of homelessness that you'll find specifically here in the Treasure Valley. Nampa, Boise, Eagle, Cuna, Meridian, all those places. Let's take the Boise Greenbelt as an example. The Boise Greenbelt is a trail that runs along the north and south side of the Boise River, and it goes under bridges. And there are plenty of spots to where if you were homeless, you would definitely camp out. I'm originally from Portland, Oregon, before that Seattle. And it is so different than what you are used to. When you come here, it feels so clean and so taken care of. You go under overpasses and there's no homeless people and you're not dodging needles and there's not trash everywhere. In fact, there's trash cans for you to put your trash in. There's a beautiful river with clean water that you can go walk into and enjoy. If you're coming from California, this will literally shock you as you walk through certain areas of the city because you would have the assumption that it would be overrun. Let's talk about bugs. There are not a ton of bugs in the area. Yes, we do get some flies, but nothing like maybe what you're used to in terms of mosquitoes or cockroaches or things like that. Perfect example, there's a hot air balloon event here that we do here in the heart of Boise, and it's amazing. And you can go sit out in the evening and watch these hot air balloons and you're not just getting destroyed by mosquitoes and eaten alive. In addition to that, maybe you deal with cockroaches where you're from or Cadiz down south and we don't really have that here. Yes, technically if you go on Google and you type, does Idaho have cockroaches? They're essentially gonna say yes, every state has them. But have I ever seen a cockroach here in Idaho? No, I have not. And finally, in Boise, Idaho, and Idaho in general, you're gonna see people wearing Crocs outdoors, you're gonna see mullets and you're gonna see big trucks. Number four, we're going to talk about cost of housing and how Idaho and see it and how you as an out of stater, specifically maybe from California. See it. A lot of people say Idaho and Boise and Coeur d'Alene are not as affordable as they used to be. But if you're somebody coming from California, you might think it's insanely affordable. You might be thinking, gosh, I could buy a house for $800,000. And in your world, in California, you're like, I could maybe get a condo for $800,000. So depending on who you are, if you're from California, Idaho could look very affordable. If you're from Idaho, you could be thinking, man, Idaho is just not affordable anymore. Okay, get ready for this. Number five is patriotism. Idahoans are patriotic. If we look at our culture right now, and if you look at social media, there is a divide on whether or not you should be proud to be an American or ashamed of being American. Out here in Idaho, people are proud to be American, and there's no shame that they feel in expressing that. When you come here, you're gonna see American flags hanging out of the back of huge pickup trucks. You're gonna see the word freedom in businesses' names, and the cherry on top, you're gonna see bald eagles everywhere. Number six, now this could be a misconception, but some people might think that all of Idaho is the same, and it's not. There is a huge difference between Northern Idaho and Southern Idaho. For starters, you're gonna be getting used to winter possibly, depending on where you're moving from. In Southern Idaho, like in Boise, the Treasure Valley, we get on average 20 inches of snow each year. But up in Coeur d'Alene, they get on average of 70 inches of snow each year. And that's a lot of snow and a lot of shoveling. 
end up there, I feel like things are going to be a little bit more right-sided, a little more patriotic. A lot of people who live in like central Idaho really think Boise and the Treasure Valley is too liberal. Where you're coming from, Boise and the Treasure Valley might feel too conservative. So as you can see, it really depends on where you're coming from and what you're used to and what is your kind of normal baseline. And that's really going to affect whether you see Idaho as affordable or whether you see it as liberal or conservative. But that still doesn't change the fact that Northern Idaho and Southern Idaho on many topics are still very different. There you guys have it. There are six misconceptions. And again, I'm making this video to hopefully save you from prematurely taking Idaho or Boise or Coeur d'Alene off your list too early because you think it's something that it's not. But in reality, it might be exactly what you're looking for. If you know somebody who's thinking about moving and you think, gosh, they need to see this video because they took Idaho off their list too early, you could be saving them the trouble of moving to a state that they end up not liking just to find later on that Boise or Idaho or Coeur d'Alene was where they originally wanted to be. So do me a favor and do them a favor and send them this video. If you like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell. Main thing would be hitting that bell so that you can be notified each week that I post a video so that hopefully these videos can help guide you on determining whether or not Idaho should be on your list or if it's something that needs to be taken off.